Dear ophthalmology residents all over the world, this is a small incision cataract surgery. I had several hurdles in this case. Let us see how it was done, how the hurdles were overcome. Conjunctural peritomy is done for about 6 mm. This was a superior incision. Small radial cut, then conjunctiva and tenons were taken together. Now wait field cautery. Very mildly it should be done. Just touch over the blood vessels. There should not be any charring, any contraction of the sclera. And now, uh, 15 number BP blade is taken and this is the incision. Little frown incision I intended but it ended up like this. Now here it is on the right side of this incision making the tunnel and it is fine here but here as I come to this point see there is premature entry here so I have to come to a superficial level to complete the tunnel little towards the anterior wall to complete the tunnel and now this is a sideboard incision at around 8 o'clock now inject viscoelastic substance through the sideboard apply the visco over the corneal epithelium for better visibility yes it improves visualization now I take a 26 gauge main needle incise the capsule and make a flap now, I want to use uterta forceps so I take a 22.8 millimeter keratome and enter into the antechamber through the right side of the tunnel now I hold this capsular tag go along the margin of the people and make a fairly large capsular axis if we make a large CCC prolapse of the nucleus becomes easier and now hydrodissection is to be done ring elected is first just underneath the anterior capsular rim the nucleus is tapped and the nucleus is mobilized viscoelastic substance is injected again and then the tunnel is completed from one end to the other end always we must cut tissue when we go forward and never cut when we come backward so the tunnel is open now and now the nucleus has to be prolapsed into the anterior chamber here I take two instruments one chopper in my left hand it goes behind the nucleus and over this chopper the nucleus is rotated by the Sinsky hook and it comes easily into the anterior chamber now viscoelastic substance is injected in front and behind the capsule and now I'm going to use this irrigating vectis to break the nucleus in the section because the nucleus is large and it is not going to come out 
and a small portion of the nucleus has been broken. Now the nucleus is aligned again in such a way that it can come out easily and here it is but what has happened is it has come partially one portion of the nucleus has come out another portion is in the anterior chamber so I have taken a Sinsky hook rotated the nucleus and it has come out that's it and now the anterior chamber is irrigated with a Simco cannula by Ringer lactate and visibility improves. The epinucleus which was there in the anterior chamber comes out. Now I go through the side port go through the side port at 8 o'clock and clean the cortical matter from 12 o'clock to 6 o'clock. Now to go through the main incision we must inject viscoelastic substance to keep the anterior chamber formed. <coughs> because this is a tunnel with premature entry and antechamber will not be formed nicely unless we apply some viscoelastic substance. Yes, so cortical cleanup is done then viscoelastic substance is injected and an intraocular lens is implanted. If you are implanting a free foldable lens, place it up to this, go through the side port with a Sinsky hook, pull it and place the trailing haptic first in the back. Now dial the lens and place the other haptic in the capsular bag. Here the reference is the Rexis margin at 12 o'clock because the people has become small the Rexis margin is not visible in other parts. In this case we can see some white material sticking to the posterior capsule. It could not be polished out. If necessary we can do YAG laser capsulotomy later on. Now viscoelastic substance is removed thoroughly from the capsular bag from the anterior chamber. Anterior chamber is formed and the intraocular portion of the surgery is done. And now if we don't want to cauterize the conjunctiva we can place a releasable suture in this way. Pass the suture and now have to take three loops. Here it is. One, two, three. Hold the suture and now cut it here. In you just pull it and it opens. So thus next day suppose surgery has been done today, tomorrow morning you can remove the releasable suture. In just overnight the conjunctiva sticks to the limbus very firmly. That's it. Thank you very much for watching. Hope this video will help you in developing your skills.